Hey, I'm Phoenix Ryan and welcome. Uh, today I'm doing a bit of a taste test with some products that I bought from the Potions Cauldron in York. Mm. First and foremost, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with the Potions Cauldron and uh, I'm going to give an honest review. So as you can see here, I bought myself the Adults uh, Cauldron Poison Pack and I got myself some of that um, cauldron cola that they showed on Dragon's Den. As well as some chocolate frogs thrown in too. Uh, mainly because I like chocolate. So I'm going to give them all a try today. So unfortunately that does mean you can't try most of it. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. You can try some of the cauldron cola. But until then... You've, uh, you got to wait, okay? All right. So, I'm going to try the Enchanted Real Butterscotch Beer. So, what better way to open your Butterscotch Beer than with a magic key? That's how you got to open it. So, this is a magic key. Works as a bottle opener. Oh, God. It's uh, a bit fiddly. Hang on. I'll get there. Maybe i got to use a spell to, to get it done, you know? Oh, it's going. Oh, I can smell it already. Ah, oh, no. There we go. We got it. We got there in the end. Thanks, Magic Key. I'm uh, going to give this a sniff first. Yeah, I can definitely smell the butterscotch. I love the little mirror on there as well. Who's the uh, tastiest of them all? All right, let's give it a try. That's nice. That's really sweet. I don't think I could drink a lot of this because it is really sweet. It's 4.5% uh, alcohol. Um, yeah, but I, I mean that's that's really nice. Yep, I could definitely uh, definitely see myself drinking that. Okay, so we have as part of the poison pack, we have four poison vials. We've got Wizard Key, which is gin, vodka more, and Mysterium. Or Mystery Rum. Okay, I get it now. Okay, so this is uh, white rum. This is 40% proof. Okay, just gonna... I'm just gonna be taking a sip of these. I'm not gonna be necking these. <laughs> uh, God, imagine how drunk I'd get by the end of the video. Oh God, yeah, that's definitely rum. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's definitely rum. <laughs> that's really strong. That's really strong tasting. I know I'm having it neat, which, I, I mean, a lot of people I know uh, like to use white rum as a mixer. They don't generally just drink it neat. Um... Yeah, I'd probably, if I had, if I was going to drink that, I'd probably have it in some Coke or some lemonade, something like that. I probably wouldn't drink it on its own. Um, but yeah, that would get me uh, well and truly bladded, I think. Okay, the next one is Vodka More. Uh, fried breakfast and fluids is the antidote to this one. Now, I've been there. I've been there in the past. Oh, okay. That's that's uh, that's potent. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep. Really strong. Really strong. Again, forty percent. That's really strong. <laughs> oh God. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, it might be worth saying I don't like vodka, but, you know, 
Definitely very strong. Okay, next we've got Witch's Gin. Witch's Gin, let's try this. Oh, God, okay. Now I'm sad. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, I don't like gin. No. I don't like it. No. Ah. 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 Oh, I taste sadness. Oh, I need to, I need to. Mm. Oh, okay. That beer, that beer get, gets rid of the taste. Okay. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I'd recommend the gin, if I'm honest. Um, the antidote for that is plenty of water and rest. I'm, I'm going to have plenty of beer and rest, but you know. Um, Let's try the wizard key. Uh, yeah, wizard key. I like whiskey, so hopefully, hopefully I like this one. All right. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. Antidote to this is painkillers and isotonic fluids. Yeah, I'd go with that. I'd go with that. Okay, so out of the four poison vials, the whiskey I, I probably has got to say is my favourite one. Um, then, then the rum. But I just, I mean, all of these I would not drink me. I'd, I'd be using as a mixer. So let me just get that out there straight away. Uh, the vodka I probably, probably wouldn't have. But if I if I'm rating it one to four, then this is third, and then the gin makes me sad so i'm uh, i'm gonna rate that in fourth but that's okay it's not for everybody it's not for everybody and everybody's got their own uh, their own tastes otherwise you know life would be boring right i think i'm gonna have one of these chocolate frogs i don't know if the the camera does it justice but you can tell it's a it's a a little frog there we go Yep. I like that. I think, um, I think the chocolate frogs are a winner for me. I think I'll probably end up sitting around drinking my beer and eating some chocolate frogs. All right, what's next? We've got a really well presented gift box. Um, with four, I've got a really well presented gift box with four magical drinks in there. Now these are non-alcoholic, so Oreo, you can have some of these. Um, all right, so we got Basilisk Blood. Do you want to try some of that? All right, let's uh, let's have a look. So this is like a mixed fruit drink, like a twisty top. Hmm. Yeah? You wanna try some? You like that one? Yeah, that one's nice. That one's nice. I like that. Again, we'll rate these one to four. So that one's obviously winning by default at the moment. The next one, Tears of a Wizard. This is like a cream soda, it looks like. It actually says on the bottle. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. It's fine. Give it a, let's give it a sniff. Ooh, I like that. Mmm, that gets rid of the taste of sad. All right, me. Oreo likes that one too. I'll uh, I'll put this one 
in first place. Is that third one going to be just as good? I hope so. These are really nice, actually. Okay, what have we got? Unicorn Essence, which is tropical fruits. I feel a bit bad drinking Unicorn Essence. I mean, I hope no unicorns are harmed having to create this. Oh, that smells nice. Mmm. That smells better than it tastes. It tastes a little bit weak to me. Let me have another, let me give it another go. Mm, I like it, but it, I don't like it as much as the other one. You wanna try? All right. No, not impressed with that one. No, okay. Okay. Well, one of them had to come third, so this is uh, this is third place. Serpent's Venom, so this is uh, lemonade. I can go wrong with this. It's green. So, I don't know if the camera picks up the color very well, but uh, it, trust me, it's, it's like a green. Oh God, that's, that's quite strong smelling. Hmm. Mmm, that's that's really nice. That's really nice. Try some. Yeah, you like that? Do you like it better than the Tears of a Wizard? No? How about the Battle Explode? No? Better than the Unicorn Essence? Alright, okay, so we got a new third place. So, okay, this is third. Uh, Unicorn Essence in fourth. Basilisk Blood second, and Tears of a Wizard the best one. Last but not least, we have, again, a really well uh, presented box. Uh, the Cauldron Cola. Now this is the one that I was really excited about because this is the one that they showed on Dragon's Den. Now again, it's non-alcoholic, and um, yeah, just, just wait and see, just wait and see. There's a trick to this. Don't worry, you'll get to try some as well. Okay, so it just looks like regular cola, right, in a bottle. Which, you know, it's a nice bottle and everything, but, like, why would you pay a lot of money for, like, bottle cola? I mean, you see it with, like, Fentman's and stuff, but, um, yeah. It, there's something different about this. It's Gargoyle Cola Potion. It's not regular cola in a bottle. Check this out. So you spin the bottle. You spin the bottle. And you can see, oh yes, see, magic. So I was really excited, I know it seems childish, but like, I got really excited when I saw that on Dragon's Den, and I was like, whoa, I got and I looked it up instantly. All right, anyway, let's uh, taste test. We'll start with a sniff. Oh, it smells lovely. Okay. Mmm. I don't know if you could hear that. That's my favorite noise ever. You know, when that, that first blip, 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 blip. It's really nice. It's really nice. It, it reminds me of, um, you know, old fashioned um, cola sweets. It reminds me of that. It's it's that exact taste. Hey, Oreo, you want to try some? You like that one? Yeah. All right, cool. So that's all the products that I got. Um, me and Oreo like them. Um, if you want to check them out, uh, I'd recommend the chocolate frogs, the cola, and the beer. Um, some of the, some of the soft drinks are really nice, and hey, if you want to party, there's no better way to get it started than with the, uh, with the poison vials. And they're on discount at the moment, so, I, I mean, that, that was a, a big selling point to me, that they were all, uh, relatively affordable for me, so, yeah. Uh, check them out. Alright, see ya. Bye.